Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, and welcome to the video for what is material, the remap value range node. Here we have the remap value range node, and its goal is to basically convert a number to another number. But by changing the range or the grouping or where it's at on the number scale from one part to another. Now you may have used a node like clamp where basically we put in a number, let's say 10, and we tell it, no, 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 we don't want it to ever get that high. We want it between zero and five, and it's gonna drop it down to five. It clamps it and keeps it between two numbers. But that's not useful if maybe we need to make something larger or smaller on a scale. So in this case, I have my emissive. I have a random value that's gonna come in using the per instance random node. This is gonna give me a number between zero and one, which is great for something like a lerp or maybe my emissive, I wanna give it a little bit of glow. So if I go into here and let's hook it up to my emissive and we'll hit apply. We'll go ahead and look at our map and randomly we'll have some things lighter than the other, but it's too strong. If I was to walk through this, some of these things are just too overblown for me and I don't really like it, but I still want a random number so what can I do? Well, we can remap it. So I'm gonna plug the per instance random into my input. So now our input is gonna be zero to one. So we're going to take and hook up in our input low and input high, the numbers that define our low and our high. In this case, a zero and a one. You'll notice they all have in parentheses an S that stands for scalar or a single value. So we want to say, hey, the value coming in is between zero and one and I want the value going out to be a different number. In this case, I'll hook up these two values here. And what this will do is say anything between zero and one should actually be between 0.75 and one. If we hit apply and we look at it now, we're gonna have a lot more brighter items. Well, if we actually hooked it up to our emissive, we're gonna have a lot more brighter items because we're saying we want most of our things to be between 0.75 and one. Now you notice we don't really have anything dark but you can do it the opposite. We can drop it down. So instead of being zero to one, maybe we want some dark items not lit up and some slightly lit up, maybe 0.25. We'll go and apply that and check it out. And now we should have the opposite. We have mostly dark items and we have a couple items with this little highlight. And of course we can adjust it. Maybe we just want a small light little highlight. We'll go ahead and do that as well. Now we're going to have a random number between zero and 0 0.1 instead of zero and one based on all this information here. So that's what the remap value range does. It takes a number, our input, our number is between two other numbers, our input low and high, and the percentage wise between how low and high it is, it's gonna map it to our output or our target lows and highs. And it's great for adjusting a range, making something large into something small or something small into something large, but still having like borders or limits between how high and low it can go.